It all started a little over 10 years ago on December 5th, 2007 on a calm day. Calm Day was the first video that I uploaded to YouTube. And for years I did nothing with the channel. I just uh, wanted people to see what we had lived through in the previous days before. I'll show you just a little clip of this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mute it because the sound is absolutely horrible because it wasn't very good with the mic. But what you're seeing on this four megapixel camera was the bay that lived outside, or that was outside where we lived. Uh, it was the Sluts Bay in, in the coast of Oregon. You see how calm it is even with four megapixels. I'll go ahead and exit the full screen because it's better in the short that you see. And this was actually the first video. And today, this shot proudly brings to you. Oh, since they couldn't let me allow, or since they didn't uh, pull the uh, thumbnail up for some reason, I haven't been able to change any of my thumbnails. I went and checked other stuff. There you go, man. There's your thumbnail. <laughs> and all its crazy Photoshop glory with me and my crazy, I don't know why I did this picture face. <laughs> Ten years of terror. <laughs> The funny thing is, is that uh, we have not done actually a full 10 years of Terex. If you come take a look, take a look at this dude with the foppish hair here. <laughs> can you actually see my, oh yeah, you can see it. Um, I'll go ahead and click on one of these other organ storms. This is by far is my, uh... oh, that's, this by far is my uh, biggest views right here. I have two and a half thousand views on this after 10 years. Now just to tell you a little uh, a little something something about this, okay, I uploaded these shortly after that storm, that Arctic hurricane. And unfortunately Lincoln City, Oregon is experiencing that same type of weather right now as we speak. You know, I, I feel kind of sorry for those guys. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to go back and forth between windows uh, all day. Uh, I decided uh, that we're going to do kind of a retrospect here, and then if we have a little bit of time afterwards, then we'll go ahead and do some other stuff. I just want to show you what this is all about. Uh, this was after the Seattle Seahawks won the Super Bowl, which was the next thing that I uploaded. And as you can see, it was over. It was seven years later. It was 2014 at the time. Um, my dad sadly passed away before. Uh, before. He could see the Seahawks win the Super Bowl. And unfortunately, the audio on this one isn't as good as I would have liked. It got cut off a couple times. But uh, this is my brother Nelson. And uh, there's the pin right there on the side of my dad's crevice that we uh, we had actually bought the Super Bowl championship pin and it cut the stud off of it so we could gorilla glue it to his crevice. So that way he would know that his team finally won the big one. It's uh, part of what the death shop's all about here. You know, we had uh, hello again and welcome here where uh, I had blown my system. Oh, no, this was after I had gotten my system back because I had blown my system up and catastrophically lost a whole bunch of my stuff. But as you can see, we've gone places and done things here. We've got uh, different uh, places that we've been. Salmon, well, it wasn't the salmon ladder. Uh, what was it called? I don't know exactly what it was called, but... Uh, Salmon were jumping at the time here. It's a salmon ladder in Olympic National Park and the salmon are jumping. You actually get to see the fish jump up in this one, which is really cool. I actually do have a personal picture where I have that uh, you always see in the, the uh, pictures where the fish goes over there and has a perfectly hooked tail, uh, you know. And I actually have a picture where I caught one jumping up that ladder with the perfectly hooked tail on it. And it, it happens to be one of my favorites. Uh, this near where I live in Washington, Grand Coulee. Uh, I'll show you a quick. Uh, I'm going to show you a quick uh, little vignette here of a flying fish in Skyrim, which is kind of funny. It's the first time I ever noticed this. I did not know that they could come out of the water. And I was like, what the hell? 
<laughs> Grabbed the fish right out, plucked him right out of the air. <laughs> Solduck Falls, if you haven't viewed these videos yet, this is pretty cool. It's a little bit of a, uh, it's a little bit of a walk to get up there, but once you do, uh, yeah, it's a spectacular waterfall and you can go over there and view it from several different angles here. I gave you several. Uh, this perhaps is absolutely one of my favorite, favorite, favoriteest uh, videos of all my travels here. I'll go ahead and show this to you. Which is kind of awesome considering how small that little tongue is. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. So what happened there was this little butterfly up at Cockburg Creek Falls decided to just come fly and sit down right on my finger and just start licking it. And I could see his little tongue sitting there licking my finger so I, I wasn't going to brush him off. I knew he was probably after salt or whatever was on my fingers but he was digging the way that I tasted. He or she. <laughs> Uh, did some uh, time up in the Tetons here and we got some beautiful falls here or I mean not falls but beautiful pictures and videos of the Grand Tetons inspiration point which uh, after being up there it definitely is an inspiration uh, we have let's visit uh, 2015 we've got uh, Upper Mesa Falls in Idaho and I'll show you this because this is one of my uh, favorite falls that not everybody goes to. All right, Spectacular. here we are at the top of the Upper Mesa Falls. Just kind of gonna go ahead and take a look. I'm on the walkway, it's right beside it, so I'm gonna try and get in here so you can see a bunch of cool stuff. It's a huge waterfall and it's beautiful. And of course, I've been to a few places, Little Bighorn Battlefield, Chimney Rock. Car Henge right here was one of the most bizarre that I think I've ever been to, <laughs> truthfully. Somebody built Stonehenge out of cars and painted it all like uh, the gray stone <laughs> color, which is really cool. Uh, this Let's Visit 2016 in June was our first time that we went up to Valhalla. I actually got sick and... Uh, I thought it was altitude, but it wasn't altitude. It was a pressure difference, actually. And so it went over there and pretty much uh, kicked my butt, so we couldn't go up that day, unfortunately. We did end up going uh, back in September, and when we went back in September, we actually got to the top of, uh, well, we got to the campsite uh, for base camp for uh, Gimli Peak, which was really cool. Uh, the Skunk Cabbage Trail, which is right here, it's pretty awesome. It's this uh, looping trail that if you just kind of, you know, go at a slow pace, the 23 minutes and 49 seconds of this video takes is probably exactly what you're going to take to go around it and see everything. Uh, the guy who actually built this went over there and uh, sent me a message saying, hey, well, I was lead carpenter on this. And it was pretty cool because this uh, particular bridge or I mean this particular walkway boardwalk was actually one of the best boardwalks I've ever been on as far as trails go now as far as my uh, my favorite places here Takaka Falls has to be one of my favorite places on planet Earth I kid you not it's so beautiful here been to the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone I just have to show you this I here this as I possibly can before the battery dies but just wanted to let you see this. Let me see if I get closer and closer to the falls here. And there's Heather, of course. <laughs> see, it wouldn't be a video without uh, of places I've gone without her being in it. And the best part is, is the whole entire facade that you see up there. When it lights up, when the sun hits it, it is some of the most beautiful land you'll ever see. Uh, it looks like the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone, I kid you not. This kind of beauty that's just waiting for you out here along the That's trails. exactly it. <laughs> you gotta come see I it. said it all right there. It's that kind of beauty along, along the trails, you know. Falls. You can really see that shoot popping out now. So, uh, going back up, you know, uh, right here, 
Uh, this was uh, casual play number one of Skyrim. Uh, <laughs> the Maximus getting his first go. This was 11 months ago. February 17th, 2017. Good afternoon, evening, everybody. It's uh, Friday, and uh, I'll give you a little bit of backstory about myself. This is the one and only Death Adder. I'm very, very excited to uh, actually put this together. Don't have a uh, pop filter for this. I know everybody's done Vanilla Skyrim before, but uh, we're just going to play around because that's what we do. I know a little bit about the game. I'm going to try not blah, to... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, uh, Maximus is now in his 92nd... It'll be the 93rd episode coming up here. Now, what you do not know about Maximus here is how he started out, actually. He started out in Helgen, and I did some uh, I did some crazy stuff at the beginning of the game. I uh, backstabbed, oh, the dude's name that's uh, with you until he got up to uh, 99 sneak and, and uh, 99 on his knife skills and all that other stuff, all the... All the good stuff are one-handed and stuff like that so that's the reason why maximus might seem a little bit more power uh, powerful than everybody else uh, but uh, he also uh, you're gonna see a clip in here that uh, I think I did show in my 250th episode uh, as a as a vignette but you're gonna see like his first real kill cam <laughs> It's gonna be kind of fun uh, yes and uh, maximus did start on Friday mornings he did and then we had Tuesday evening, then Friday, and then I just kept uh, d bouncing days. And then I decided Monday Night Maximus, you know, Monday Night Maximus is probably the best way to go about it. Uh, here is one in my series that I should do all by itself. Just one minute of relaxing ocean waves. I used to live near the beach, so it's nice to see stuff like this. I think I have four or five videos. I have more that I haven't put up yet. I have to apologize because I'm so far behind on my vacation videos, but you know, here's the deal. I took four last year. I got to pay for them this year. It's our 10th anniversary coming up and we have to go back to Victoria, BC for our, uh, for our honeymoon because I mean for our anniversary because that's where we honeymooned at so so yeah we're gonna be saving all year which means uh, gonna be instead of taking vacations I'm gonna be rendering videos and getting stuff up and posted but as you can see you know turned in Skyrim Maximus was Maximus was all by himself and then where's Friday morning afternoon Maximus and then all of a sudden it was Monday night Maximus the first one and then a couple of them, and then all of a sudden, boom, here we started going. Monday night was normally his place, so that's what happened with the Maximus. And then uh, along the way here, we hit up the, the projects at home where I'm showing you my garden in the backyard, which turned out to be a very good, uh, very good go this year. The radishes did extremely well. The carrots did not fare that well at all, which is really weird considering how well the radishes did. Uh, the strawberries, we'll see if they survived over over winter. After a couple couple more months, and I pulled the mulch off of them, we'll see if uh, we'll see if they survived as well as the dahlias, which I'm hoping do because we had some beautiful dahlias this year. In fact, uh, if you want to see any of that stuff, uh, the projects at home, uh, that's the uh, playlist that you'll want to be taking a uh, taking a look at here. Got a train from the Umatilla County uh, Museum, which was really cool. I did have another train video uh, at one time. It was the Royal Gorge Railroad, but it actually got uh, it actually got uh, struck by uh, the the coalition of Frank Sinatra or something like that because it had a barely, 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 barely audible song, and I mean barely audible because I couldn't even hear it because it. it you could hear the crowd cheering and the, the train going woo woo and you can barely hear it in the background so I don't know how the hell they heard it but I took it down rather than uh, changed it out. Nowadays I'd probably just go back to it and uh, I'd probably go through and, and cut it out there. Um, there's going to be something crazy. This one here that says play to death live stream in Skyrim Katzandra that you can see me highlighted. 
This picture here I took uh, when we went on our honeymoon in Victoria. And that actually is a picture of an orb. If you know what an orb is, it's supposed to be a spiritual ball of energy. Uh, an orb that I actually caught a picture of. And the funny, there's a funny backstory behind this too. And that backstory is that uh, Heather and I, while we were in, uh, in Victoria, uh, we, the place that we stayed at, the Magnolia, very, very nice hotel, uh, gave us chocolates. And the chocolates that they gave us were from a particular shop downtown. Now, during this, we were taking a quote-unquote ghostly walk tour where they were talking about the haunted places of Victoria. And it's a nighttime thing, you know. So, uh, we, uh, they took us by and told, and, and when they were going past where the chocolate shop was, they said that it was haunted that it would uh, the ghosts sometimes would pick up and throw stuff at people uh, would throw uh, pieces of candy at people and other and i both were joking about uh, how awful the candy was you know and then all of a sudden the next thing i know i take this picture and this shows up in it this crazy orb shows up in my picture that i i'm just like i was astounded i showing everybody and the guy who was doing the tour is kind of like passing it off but everybody else along with me was amazed kept the picture to this day it's a really cool picture and yeah <laughs> pretty cool stuff considering especially that he was talking about how the the, the ghost did, you know didn't like people the uh, you know if they didn't like the chocolates he'd throw chocolates at them well maybe that was the ghost's way of telling us hey you know you shouldn't be saying bad stuff but i will still say to this day i didn't like their chocolates very much so <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, this one here, which was uh, Storms and Knockin' in a Beautiful Sunset, where I gave you two and one, which was very cool. We had uh, Storm with Lightning Strikes. So anyway, we got some storms and going on tonight. And I'll go ahead and mute this. See if I can't catch a spot where we had a, a Lightning Strike. I don't know, I should have I should have tagged a spot for Lightning Strike on this one, because... It, I did see a couple lightning strikes, but the funny thing was is that uh, at the end of this video here, we ended up getting this really nice sunset because it all uh, it all blew out at the end of the day, and I'll show you right here when it switches over because you can see the clouds going away right near the end, and boom. That's the sunset that we got. This actually threw my window, which is why you see my camera flash in there. <laughs> but yeah, really beautiful sunset. So the things that I like to take videos of. If you like that sort of thing, you know, Death Shop's definitely for you. Here we go. We have our first live streams that we had here. Got the first Dahlia of the year in my project at home. <laughs> had like... I'm not kidding. Yeah, I had to have had over 150 blooms this year off of just four plants. It was astounding how many dahlias I got. It was unbelievable. Um, in fact, you can take a look right here at this thumbnail. This thumbnail shows you quite a bit about the dahlias. We'll see if we can't get... There's me and all my dorky self. Actually, not so bad in this one. The glasses are kind of dorky, but hey, they're functional. What can I say? This is the stuff right here that we're talking about, though. The pretty, pretty dahlias. There's those strawberries. Cut those down to the ground. Those three poor heather plants did not make it. Tried so hard, too. I, I guess it's just not the area for them. Anyway. Oh, oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to... The sunglasses is unmute it. It's a very, very now, let's go back up here. Uh, we have some of the Minecraft... Where I started the first live HD in chat, you can see where I went over there and really started going on and did this third, uh, what do they call it, uh, third, uh, lower third, that's what they call it, right? And then I uh, put my chat window up on the side, death out and played death down below. I decided that despite the, the few people that I was talking to at the time saying that they liked this setup better, I decided that I like the setup that I have right now with the kind of kind of scrolly bar at the top and the the kind of glow through at the bottom. So that's what we ran with. Um, here we had uh, where I thought we were going to lose our Hyundai, and then we ended up uh, 
getting it rebuilt and that's my car that I'm driving now blue bombers history uh, I did do a second uh, car hinge here where I, I did the wound feedback I kicked it back a little bit for you guys and I think uh, well, we've got some uh, stuff from Athol, Idaho here, uh, which is where Silverwood is, the Silverwood theme park. I did upload something down there. Tillamook Cheese Factory and, of course, Lighthouses, because it's not anything uh, without me having some Lighthouse uh, videos. And, of course, uh, Relaxing Ocean Waves. We've got a couple more sets of those. Going back up to the top, uh, let me see if I can't find what I'm looking for here. Okay. Yeah, we're talking about Silverwood. Here we go. Silverwood Log Flume. I'm going to let you view this in its entirety. And here's me, and this is the Log Flume. I'm putting the camera on my head. You're going to regret it. <laughs> That's Heather in front of me. Oh, it doesn't steer at all. So you're getting my birds and I've since view. learned that every time I move my fingers around on my camera or if I have it in this plastic coating that GoPro will pick up all oh, those vibrational sounds so I, I tend not to use the case unless I have to now <laughs> and uh, well beyond that Mom and Lily's find us yet? No. beyond that I uh, They're way back there. Uh, beyond that I uh, just try not to move my fingers around too much on it so it, I mean because it picks up every little bit of vibrational sound see there it is right there it's not that high at all so this is pretty much the whole entire ride you you wait like almost like 45 minutes or more to get on That's this not that high. Ooh, are we gonna get there Cool, wow, really buffering on my computer? Whoa, that's uh, very, very odd. Give me a little down view here. I'm picking this go. as one of my favorite travel videos. You'll see why. Mom and Lily is, hey! Hey! I only said that to get her mind off of the top of the hill. Heather's good for a splash. Oh, and you can oh, hear God, her. <laughs> she doesn't like it at all. You'll be fine, baby. You'll be fine. I'll scream with you, okay? Ready? <laughs> So there's some people off to the side that put the coin in so they could hit us with the water flume, which we got direct hit right here. Boom! Of course, I had my water case on, so it was lucky I did. <laughs> so you can go up there and pay coins over there and have people get you wet. <laughs> that was her saying it, not me. <laughs> so, all right, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed that. That was the log flume. And by the way, I also... Uh, I also have a uh, the aftermath here. Might as well show this. It's got Mom and Lilius in it. If anybody knows, right, so Lilius is think? my niece. It's right behind Heather. What'd you think? What'd She's you like, think, no. What'd you think, Lilius? <laughs> What'd you think, Mom? <laughs> that was definitely awesome. I'll catch you later. <laughs> well, that has kind of become my catchphrase. Catch you later. <laughs> Probably somebody else's catchphrase too, but you know, uh, now I've done some weird stuff with my things here. Like this one right here is me at the Grand Canyon with the, the, the Maximus and Ing and everybody. <laughs> I decided to do a different one and I've done some nighttime stuff too. Uh, I have not done a Cat Sandra After Dark episode in a long time, which uh, I might get back to that soon. Uh, I do really want to do another Cat Sandra episode though because uh, she is a vampirist which is a vampire and <laughs> my term for a khajiit vampire 
and uh, she also uh, has Hircine's cursed ring on right now. So I'm wondering if she'll turn into a werewolf while she's a vampire. If she does, what kind of sort of crazy stuff is that going to cause? <laughs> we'll find out <laughs> soon enough. All right, then we got where uh, we played, uh, got on to Final Fantasy and played Final Fantasy again. And uh, why don't I just show you something here from this one here. And let's see if it's about where I want it to be here. A couple hit points healed. Yeah, I think this is right about where I wanted it to be. This is one of the funnest parts right here. It's the Tiamat battle. Across the right, bridge of Doom. So here we go. We're in Tiamat's chamber, folks. Lightning erupts from the fiend's ball. <laughs> so, you've come this far. I, Tiamat, the Fiend of the Wind, will now put an end to your adventure. Oh, really? If you're the Fiend of the Wind, you're gonna love this. <laughs> oh, yes, we got something in store for him. Yes, we do. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have Toast Cast Fast. Second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have Adder Cast Fast on Death, and this could, it's gonna make things happen real fast. We're gonna use the Bane Sword if we're lucky. We're gonna sm poison smoke the Fiend of the Wind. <laughs> It'll be funny if this happens. 420 on death. You're not gonna win like that. Oh wow! Death just did the same thing. 420. Holy Moses. He's got higher defense than I remember. I remember him having that high defense. Doesn't matter. He's gonna, he's gonna go down. All I'll take is a crit. Five hits, five damage. <laughs> Seven hits, three hundred fifty-three. There we go. That's more like it. Poison smoke. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing like taking down the Fiend of the Wind with Poison Smoke. I guess he shouldn't have ate those beans too much. <laughs> <laughs> looking back on that, I, you know, <laughs> looking back on that, that, that really was a great moment. and It made me smile as soon as I heard myself gleefully say, Poison Smoke! <laughs> Brings back tons of great memories. <laughs> Ah, uh, man, that's that's the reason why I'm playing the randomizer right now, which, uh... And by the way, you heard a couple sound effects in there. There's there's a few things I want, want to point out with that, uh, with that whole vignette that we just did on Final Fantasy. One, one is that, uh... There's a red bar up there, and at the time, the Mario 94 had the bar. Right now, Aviv Shalit has the bar. Next person to subscribe that shares their subscriptions takes over the bar, and they become the bar. So, <laughs> it's a Seamus and Cesaro thing. No, it isn't. It's, uh, once I get about 50, uh, 50 subscribers, I think then I'll go over there and do, like, four or five names, maybe. Uh, I've got enough room on my bars to do it, so I can, I can, I can have four or five people, I'm sure. It's just that I'm still a couple away from 30, so, uh, you know, we're still hunting and still a very young channel, so I'm not even worried in the least. I do this for fun on my time off, so, yeah, <laughs> that's about what it is. And during the winter time, I get a little bit more in during the summer when I don't have vacations rolling on. Uh, uh, um, because in the summertime, you know, I'm doing my garden and everything like that. Uh, while we're looking back on video games, let's uh, take a bounce. <laughs> you know, Il Trio had a really tough time uh, getting to the end. They had some super, 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 super bad troubles. And that's why I made the, did the last, the battle that lasts an eternity. Because it really did last an eternity. And if I remember right, let me take a look at this real quick here. We had some trouble. Trouble, battle. trouble at the end here. Just for the mere fact that uh, Chaos just cast Cast 4. I think that Slow 2 might have missed, but I casted fast on Bruce anyway. He's got 8 spells to get back. 
we've got everything that we need. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and put the sound on. Just for the last couple uh, clips here because we're going to win. And I do we turn the sound the down on the, the M so that way yeah, uh, you don't have to hear the 8-bit music. Inferno! The whole time. Oh yeah, well there's an Inferno for you. It's called Nuke. Here comes I Bruce. said to turn the sound up, but it didn't happen. Ow, 490. That's what we were supposed to be doing last time, but uh, Chaos took Merlin out before we could have the chance to do it. In fact, I did not reorder the guys. That was kind of risky on my part, but that's okay. We're going to win this battle. <laughs> Here we go. Magic going down. Gotta remember Luke. to give you the full screen, guys. And, doo -doo -doo -doo, last one. Oh, wait. So you, so no, you can see Aviv fighting, is think, the bar right I now. I think he was doing okay with the fight, wasn't he? He has been for a while. Yeah, we're going to full out attack here. We're going to make sure Chaos does not get around. There Wiped it is. Wiped and clean. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's kind of anticlimactic for the, the reason right, guys, that, that uh, we really got our butts kicked on that. <laughs> so here's another uh, one minute of relaxing ocean waves, which I do have a couple more than even that. And if you did not catch it, the Shore Acres Holiday Light Festival, uh, I actually have the Shore Acres uh, in Charleston, which is near Coos Bay, Oregon. Uh, there are, or North Bend, in the, as far as that goes. They're all like within a, a few short distances of each other. Uh, the Holiday Light Festival was really cool. I took everything and put it together. I had to cut the sound out at one point just because I didn't want anybody to... Uh, have a fit for the Christmas music. Same reason why I had to take the train video down like a long time ago. And then, of course, uh, I put up one for Brenda Falls, the Sugar Lake, but this happened long before. And this is one of the ones that I'm catching up slowly but surely. So I guess what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to go, since we've shown you a little bit about what the Death Shop's all about, we're going to go back to our games here, and I'm going to show you some game clips. And in order to do that, we're going to kick ourselves out of YouTube. And uh, we're going to go ahead and check out our Place TV. Let me set these up for you guys. Um, first one here is uh, just a cool view Cat Sandra had the other day. This was on a dark, uh, dark episode, by the way. So, in fact, let's do this. Uh, give me just half a second here. Will that be too much? Nah, that takes too much. You can, you guys can see. Well, actually, I think that that that's gonna cover like my whole screen. I think I uh, adjusted this to make sure it covers. We'll find out. Anyway, let's go ahead and play this for you. And the reason why I did this because I don't want you to uh, have to see my playlist that's on the other side. So we'll go ahead and start it right about oh now. So this one here is just a sweet view that we saw the other day. Wow. Is that me or can you see the ocean from here? Holy smoke if you can. Oh my god, you can. Wow, look, that's like Windhelm right in the center there, right above Frost Sears. You can see all the way out to the ocean from this spot. Dang, that's why we got man. Plays TV on there, guys, is because that's my uh, this is my Plays TV account. Wow, I don't think I've ever had this view before. This is pretty cool. Okay, another thing that I'd like to point out here, and actually what I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to pull up the full screen, and I am going to make this full screen so that way we can see everything in their, in their mightiness here. Let's see here, and I want to make sure that I didn't screw things up here. I think I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, the second one here is uh, we've got the three billy goats gruff. I just discovered this the other day, and I was astounded by all of the crazy stuff that goes on in Skyrim. And all the references to everything and anything just about. I found the three billy goats gruff. Um, but uh, before I get to this little clip, I want to go back to the uh, back to the other one there, and where I saw the view and I just had this crazy reaction. And I do want to tell you that uh, down there in the description, I've got my and also rolling across the scrolly bar, I got my uh, Streamlabs and I got my Patreon accounts both uh, set up there. You could also like PayPal.me Death Adder, and uh, that'll work too. But I'm taking uh, taking donations for webcam. And uh, 
it, I, I'll probably end up calling it my reaction cam because <laughs> there's a lot of crazy reactions. And I'm going to tell you right now that I'm going to be playing a bit more Final Fantasy Randomizer. And when I do that, uh, it's going to be, uh, yeah, the reactions are pretty crazy and they are pretty real too at the I'm, well they are real i don't fake anything so <laughs> okay let's go ahead and do this and we have oh the billy goat there's one billy goat there's two billy goat there's three billy goats gruff there must be a troll underneath the bench. this is funny too Critical strike on all the group goats. I want to see what's underneath the bridge. I do. Just because there's three goats trying to cross the bridge. Come on, man. Three billy goats gruff all the way. Is there a troll? Oh, there's a dead troll! Oh, right on, dude! I'm sure the goats didn't kill the troll, but... Right on! <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. That's totally awesome. There's a troll that's underneath the bridge. Uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. And well, actually, I was expecting a live troll, not a dead troll, but. Yeah, that's funny. I was just saying that because we had three goats running across the bridge. <laughs> three Billy Goats Gruff. You'll see my bar coming up because I'm just and checking where I'm troll. at. How about that? It's funny things like that that I like about this game. They threw a bunch of crazy stuff in here that you just wouldn't, you know. And look, there's another goat. That's actually four billy goats, so... There was no yeah, grass out there. They put a fourth billy goat. Well, these, these... Okay, this next clip here is of these couple bucks, and just watch them as I approach them. we just gotten through fighting this battle, and these things were so stunned that they are just sitting there watching Frozen in place. They didn't do a darn thing while I kicked their butt. Bucks were just sitting here watching the fight, and they're like, yo. I'm like... Now that one got no. spooked and took off, but that one just stood there while I took its head. They were just frozen in place. They're like, we don't care. Beat us down. Boy, they made a weird sound when they died. It's almost like... <laughs> Didn't it kind of sound like the... <laughs> And I'm going to tell you right now, retrospect here, we got a couple things. All right, this <laughs> and this. <laughs> Is that all you those got? are both my voice and those are two of the uh, first, actually those are the two first clips that I ever, uh, that I ever put up to, as extra clips. You know, nowadays I've got several million things, including... Including, uh, you know, the, uh, the ever-popular... Glorious! No, I won't give in! I won't give in till I'm victorious! Yeah, that's for the, uh, kill cams and stuff like that, and for when we find awesome treasure or, 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 or glorious mining when we find great gemstones. But, um, you know, it's been supplanted in the last couple days by another one of my old personal favorites, folks. Can you dig it? <laughs> Gotta love Cyrus. And yeah, that isn't the true original clip because I had to do some cutting and some uh, some severe uh, severe tweaking to get him to say it loud enough uh, to where the cheers of the crowd didn't like totally go over him. Uh, what are the other two I have on today? Oh, one of them is Cat Sandra, and of course this is... Uh, Thank you very much, Indestructible Legion, for your sister, for fighting with your sister on this day, because I got this for Cat Sandra. Oh, what? I will eat you! And I will delete no, you! No, not that one. That's Matt Hardy, which uh, actually, broken Matt Hardy, I should say. Which he's now woken Matt Hardy in WWE, instead of broken Matt Hardy in TNA. And uh, I will eat you and I will delete you is probably... The, my most favorite out of the sayings that I got for him. But uh, here's the one for Cat Sandra. Stop it. I will bite you. Which, th that was so perfect when I heard that. I'm like, oh, Cat Sandra has to have that. <laughs> okay, so this next clip here, this is an AI clip, man. I wanted to show you this because this is insane how this played out. 
Um, I'm trying to shoot the guy that's uh, further. I just got my butt kicked by him before because he's much more powerful than uh, he he's much more powerful than uh, than I thought that he was. But watch what happens when I try and take him out from a distance. You just never know what we're coming up on. <laughs> Hi, guy. Oh, bye, guy. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Let's go back just a second there. The hell? Oops! Whoa! Oh, well, that was They're funny. Frozen in place. That gave me the wrong. Like, that gave me the wrong one here. I just wanted to go back a second here <laughs> in time. Let's see what happens if I try and go back again. Is it gonna air out? Ooh. Oh, it's not good. Hi, guy. Okay. Hit him, and then all of a sudden, Ooh. boom! There it is. Another guy comes jumping from out of the corner. And I shoot and kill oh, him. Gonna be a <laughs> I'm like, bye guy. And it's like, <laughs> this is gonna be a fight. I can tell. Nope, already. not bye guy. Now this here is uh, Anakin Craig Jumper was my uh, was my cohort at the time. This is before Ingen. If it, this is Maximus, and I think it is. And I ran back because I didn't want to get killed by the mammoth. Or the giant, and then all of a sudden I see this. Woof! <laughs> the crazy, crazy physics of Skyrim, and she, yeah, shot him up into the air. Here, watch it again. I wish I could do this in slow mo, but boof! What the fuck? Holy cow, man! That's some strength. Oh my god, was that you? She's stronger than she looks. Must be all that mining builds those muscles, huh? Holy cow, Nikki, you uh, totally. Wow. And unfortunately, I actually used Anarchy uh, with. Uh, Time for I think it was. Was it. it was with Maximus. Oh, this right here. Okay. This right here was in a cave, and you will hear this fapping sound like a bat. And you'll find out what the fapping sound is at the end. So here we go. We shoot him with an arrow. And I'm looking for the body right now. Wondering where he went. And there he is. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> the great physics of Skyrim, guys. This was actually oh, on a dark man. episode, too, because uh, I was catching up to where I was <laughs> at the there? time, so you didn't actually get to catch this. This right here, um, uh, this one came off of Place TV. It was uh, while I was uh, still doing, uh, before I was doing streaming, so that's why we got YouTube username Death Adder underneath there, because I uploaded everything. I, I took it from Place TV and uploaded it to YouTube in a clip, but we'll go ahead and, and play this. This is one of my favorite battles, and that same sort of physics thing uh, goes on with this. While you're watching this, I'll be right back. Oh, we got something interesting going on here. Have a feeling. Have a feeling we're going to have some weird stuff going on. Oh, yeah. Am I already there? Oh! Oh, you hit him and he disappears! Aw, oh, nuts. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we're gonna have to, uh, again, we're gonna have to, uh, arrow his butt. Oh, wait! Maybe not. Hi. Hi. What? Oh, ouch! I hope I didn't die. Ow, that, that's got to hurt, Mean Gene. Holy cow. Okay, he didn't knock the stuff out of my hand, but he knocked the stuffing out of me. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Is this the way this battle's going to be? Alright. One. 
I gotta make sure I'm not dying. Oh, I'm not dying at all. <laughs> okay, there's more than one. Oh. <laughs> Holy smoke. Oh, this has got to be the funniest battle I've ever been in in this whole game. Oh my goodness. I mean, this includes the ones where I cheesed guys. That is unbelievable. Yeah, I forgot when I hit F1 to mute my mic, it also brings up the uh, help for uh, the, the player, so <laughs> I'll have to remember that. I'll just appear in the other two locations, huh? And I get a boost every time, huh? Is that really him? I don't know, but take a look at this. This is kind of funny. If that is him. Now, at this point in the battle... If that was him, I'm not getting much damage. That's, that's my main concern here. I hadn't figured it out yet, but I had I actually went over there and froze him with the... With the frost, so every time oh, that yeah. he resets, he's gonna love me. That every time that uh, Sigdis Gullerson resets, <laughs> he's actually frozen and on the ground. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got you now, sucker. <laughs> yeah, you can smell the cheese from here, can't you? I don't know where you live, but you can smell the cheese from there. So you can see the one that's on the ground over there? That's the real one. His body's the, down. If that's the real him, his body And the is funny down. thing is, is that we regenerated, or I mean, we I hit him. No problems whatsoever. I think while he was getting ready to, to move, so he spawned every time yeah, look with at that. the effect. He's on the ground. That's him. That totally is him. So whichever one appears on the ground. That's so where I figured it out. <laughs> you can see Ingen. Shooting the arrow, shooting the arrow. Except I'm not doing much damage. I think I have to get the other guys. Either that or uh, it's a random which one's him. Hi. Yeah, I must have picked up like 15 arrows at, at the end of this battle. Yeah, I don't think I was meant to fight him from here. So anyway, this, uh, this continues <laughs> on where uh, I get continually get blown off. I wonder if that one that's over there is that one. What? There's one down. You go boost yourself. Alright, he used his boost. Let's go up the stairs and kill this guy. And then decide to use the flame on him. Chop away at the oak tree. Oh, I suppose I could always use my level too. Come take this guy out. None for you. All for me, none for you. I decided YouTube was the better platform too, by the way, to, uh, to showcase stuff because hardly anybody ever goes on place to eat. When he froze. I think he to they totally took him out. I use it to record my backups in and case anything ever happened up. to my channel. So he's stuck in a paralyzed state, which is just amazing. So all I get to do is sit here and thrash him. Say so that's okay. We've got the uh, we've got the Jason Voorhees uh, machete with us here, you know. Around this time, we had Friday the Thirteenth that had just come out. The uh, game, so we're gonna hack which that was pretty short-lived in popularity. I think. I'm glad I didn't buy it myself in retrospect. <laughs> really ought to get Ingen to just hit him with the. Uh... Yeah, if I take one guy out before he fooses. Mainly since it looked like it would have been funner to uh, to watch than it would be to play. Not get free shots. I figured out how to dodge. <laughs> One more time, one more time. It's gonna disappear right before him. Nope! There it is! Woohoo! Oh, that battle was glorious! This was before I had glorious, by the way. Holy smoke! <laughs> I can't believe it. So, I tell you what, let's play it now for me. Glorious! <laughs> no, I won't give in! I won't give in! Till I'm victorious! So then 
here we go. We got uh, Minecraft testing world now. Uh, I haven't played Minecraft in a while. I might go back to uh, the second Minecraft, which uh, which is uh, you can't run, you die here, which I'm currently really lost in. Uh, I don't know where my home base was, my starting island, but if you remember that, I had to dig all the way underneath the ocean. Started on this island by myself. Had to dig all the way down and all the way across underneath the ocean to get to uh, the other side before I would let myself do anything like a boat or anything like that. So I had to start out with apples and the few seeds I had. And this is a Minecraft testing world, though. It's going to be some and not nice. We're going to have some not niceties going on here. This is where I was in a ravine and trying to make my way back out. And it's nighttime. Well, this may have been a mistake. Should have gotten out earlier when it first started seeing it get dark. We'll find out. And then we. How much of a mistake Ooh. did death make? Ooh! <laughs> Woo! Hey! Right. Then we have this close call. Right. We got him. <laughs> that was a little bit uh, intense. <laughs> right on the edge of the ravine. Then this is where two creepers took me out at the same time. You'll see this in a second here. <laughs> so one took me out and the other one blew most of my stuff up that I had. And I had full iron armor at the time, so it took me out. This here is another piece of Minecraft testing world where I have so many cows in my cow pen that they actually kicked me out of the cow pen. Which is kind of crazy. Oh, whoa, wow. I got pushed out by the cows that time. you see that? They bumped me. Cow tipper oh, wow. became the cow tippy. <laughs> I'm wondering if the, uh, what's gonna happen on this other side. And then here so, was the uh, nether portal. Yeah. This is like the best Let's nether portal of all time. Here. Here. I think we'll take those and I will keep the planks as planks just in case. But I have a feeling that more than anything else, it's gonna be the. Figured we should show a little Minecraft since uh, we started with a little okay, bit of Minecraft too. Probably just throw over here. So it's going to be probably cobble more than anything else. I mean, this is how things go in the nether. Here we go! Ooh, yeah! Wah, 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 wah. And it's all like... Oh, wow. Oh, did I luck out? Oh, I lucked out. Look at this. Oh... Man, that's lucky. Why is that lucky? It's lucky because now, uh, yeah. It's going to be real easy for me. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. We'll put out a couple of these nether racks, but we'll keep most of them up. Okay. Oh, no way. No way no way is that what i think it is oh my god are you kidding Nether me fortress <laughs> minecraft testing world is totally awesome oh wow not only did it give me a safe portal by putting it there but oh what's this oh even better holy smoke Wow, I thought it was cool when I went around the way and saw another fortress, but no, I got it right next to me. Oh. Un-stinking real. Wow. That is like... That, I have to admit, I've never had that luck with right, a uh, another speed. fortress before, I'm telling you. Hey, you little regular force so, dude. Here's some kill cams for you. Get the. We're gonna have a bunch of them. Until you're good and dead. Oh, dude, is that another dead horse? No, that's just for us. Oh, good night. Just to let you know, this isn't even close to all of them. Say by good night, I mean. <laughs> By good night, I mean you suck. <laughs> oh wait, wait. This was I mean, early on, since I and this guy was being a jerk to me a lot. So this one was especially, especially uh, 
it was an especially sweet moment when this one happened because this guy was taking me down. This one just recently here with the ugly face. Here, let's do this. Get a close up on that ugly face. Alright, so here we go. Let's see if we can get it. Look at that, man. Close up on that ugly face. <laughs> that is that is some seriously ugly face going on there. Oh. Boy, I got a close up on his ugly face, didn't I? Ooh, I must be out of charges. Does no, it no, With the axe bash for the victory. This one was particularly Great. funny because I've seen this happen a few times before. Where your helper pretty much kills them while you're Holy in the process crap, of Keith, kill camming them. What'd he do? Hit her like four times with the fireball while I had her in the air for the kill? <laughs> Jeez. This here. Oh! One of the most brutal ones I've ever seen. Let's do that again. Oh! <laughs> Just whap. Face plant. Man. That was evil. That was right before the bucks, by the way. And I don't know if this one's actually on my channel or not, uh, except in an outtake. Tal's Guard the Wanderer, I decided to just uh, throw arrows at him just for fun and see what happens. And then, a little helicopter action. <laughs> you know, if we're going to do that, though, if we're going to do that, we got to go back and do it right. So let's go with the new for this. Can you dig it? Of course, Talsgard didn't have much cool stuff on him. And I could have cut this one shorter than what I did, but I didn't. Moving on. <laughs> this next one here, oh, this is this is probably the best long arrow kill cam I think I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god, just to see nice. that again is awesome. Let's just do this. Do this up right now. Know what I say to that? that ah, there we go. I got it in there just a little late. Yeah, that was that, that was, was probably the most glorious totally. arrow ever shot. Okay, this here is dark. Uh, this is probably the first time you're ever seeing this, and I have described this before. This is in uh, in Elgrim's elixirs. This is Cat Sandra going here, and uh, Halfgar is just beyond beyond the uh, corner, so she actually sees me do this. Elgrim doesn't see me. But she wakes him up pretty much. Last mistake. Over here. Please, someone do something. Hey. Of course, I'm like, oh, what am I supposed to do here? So I'm like, all right. Now you're going to get it, Bobby. And Elgrim goes down into the uh state. Halfgar goes running, Ingen takes it on the head. Now watch what happens. <laughs> Did you catch that? Let's do that again. Right around the corner. As soon as Cassandra grabs her for the kill cam, Dorkethus the evil sinks that ice right into her head. Holy crap, man. 
and then hits her with a fireball. Oh man. Watch her. Now, this doesn't mean I get all the kill cams, because. Oh, gee! You, you had to watch down. fast on that one. So one Oh, gee. Okay, oh. Okay, oh, so by the uh, Forsworn Briarheart. Damn. All right. And this, of course, is how Maximus started in the cave. Easy. It's his first kill, kill cam in the whole entire game that he ever had. And it wasn't on camera for you, but it was for me. Holy cow, guys. One more time. Gotta see it. And you dig it! Like, the bear's waking up. I gotta go do something. I can take a saber. Then here's the saber, cat. Oh, baby. Watch this. <laughs> take a look at that. It goes right up to a picture of Frost. Nice. And Frost is all like. Hey, I don't know what you did, but I just downed the saber cat. <laughs> hey, and I'm like, wait a second, man, that was my kill cam. Frost is like, no, it wasn't. I stomped it with my ho hooves. That's why you're looking at me. You're a good horse, Frost. Yes, you are. I don't care what the other guys say about you, and I don't care if you have these big, crazy horse eyes. <laughs> Speaking of Frost here, yeah, show you a little bit about the crazy things that Frost can do. <laughs> and if you can jump to the top, well, you know, you're doing pretty darn good at uh, horse climbing. Well, actually, maybe I could climb up with Frost. <laughs> it's a long shot. We can try it. Hey, Frost, you feel like climbing a tower, buddy? Frost is like, you gotta be nuts, dude. Horses can't climb towers. Or can they? Come on, Frost, you can do it, buddy. You can do it. You can do it, Frost. Oh. Darn. Came off on the other side. And if at first you don't succeed, you try, up, try Frost. again, right? We're gonna try this one more time. So here we go for a second attempt. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Frost. You can do it, buddy. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> He'll fly through the air with the greatest of bees. <laughs> Come on. Let's see if we can get up. Oh, we did. And... Frost says, yeah, there's nothing left on the top of this tower. <laughs> Crazy stuff here. Let's see, and then here's some more Frost antics here. This whole segment's on Frost, by the way. Watch this, this is cool. Oh, I was trying to get the jump on this. I think this was dark as well. I'll get this one. Oh. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> the magic jump. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> so I don't know what the physics is awesome. to make him float. <laughs> I don't think I could do that in like a hundred tries. That was pretty funny. So my horse just like skimmed the river. <laughs> Say, my horse is the son of God. <laughs> now it's only Frost. And then watch what happens oh, well, here. This is a WTF moment Maybe all the way. Why are you shooting at me, man? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, they're shooting at the okay, the stag. Whoa! Holy crap! What the hell's going on? I was thinking I was gonna fall to my death here. Uh, I just did nothing. Does anybody know what's happening? Because I didn't here? know what to do. <laughs> hey, I don't have any crazy physics or anything going on here, so this is uh. I thought maybe Marie had gotten a hold of me. Whoa! What in Tarnation's name is going on? See, I'm not even touching any of the controls. This is uh, doing this on its own. <laughs> the hell, man? So 
like this dragon's like, you've been bad, Catandra. <laughs> I do say some funny things in stream, don't I? <laughs> but yeah, this is crazy. He just kind of goes around in this weird like right, triangle I thing here. How this happened. I don't know why or how it happened or how this started or anything like that. I don't know how, yeah. This is some crazy, 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 like, is this really happening type stuff. <laughs> Did you see oh him slide God. to at the end, too, as he was Whoa. coming back to the ground? That's weird. I don't know what that was, man, but that was some serious crazy, 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 crazy magic carpet frost. Holy smoke. Boy, I'm glad I was doing this on a random stream here. I, don't, I can't even explain what the hell just happened. Find out what's at Volskai Peak. Now here we go. We've got uh, my favorite battle here. We got Volsung versus Maximus. Uh, now, let me set this scenario for you oh. before we go up. Okay, Maximus here just got through fighting through a bunch of uh, Draugr Death Lords. Barely made it by the skin of his teeth up here. As you're going to see, he has barely any healing left. So watch how this battle plays out. This actually is one of my favorite and best battles and best, uh, well, yeah, just, just watch. It's got to be a dragon wall. I bet I couldn't find this without even uh, having to fight. Hey, there's a the guy going to pop out of this on me. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, full sun. Oh, my God. No, 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 are you kidding me? I just went through that other guy, and now I gotta take on him? Alright, I'm not going to... Oh, 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 ouch. He's hurt me too. This really sucks. <laughs> well, let's see, we got some vigorous healing potions. Now I need to see if I got some, uh... What do we got? Don't throw the berserker. Two-handed weapon. I don't have any two-handed weapons. Um, true shot won't do anything for me. Uh, hey, resist magic will be great. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that, and then uh, drop the dry to health on us too. Okay, we'll do this first though. Gonna go ahead. And, I don't think that it's helping me out against him, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Use the lessers. Fill up children. Come on over. Help and resist magic. All right. Oh, golly, two hits. Two hits. Oh, you suck. <laughs> Plentiful healing and vigorous healing. See how oh low goodness. I was? Can you believe this? We are like Max That was because of that potion. If it weren't for that potion, I would have died. The one of resist magic. Potions here. We've got solutions of health. And do we have any? Oh my goodness! I don't think I have any. Uh, uh oh, we're we're in trouble here. I wonder if these stack. Because if these stack, I could be all right. They didn't stack. Okay, there's one. Yeah, I do not have plentiful uh, solution to health. Yeah, this is no good. So we're right, right on it. I need a, I this need is why I need, need a cam, a reaction cam. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? Holy smokes! <laughs> Wow! Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, to do it. Come like, on, that would have been. You know you're that right. last clip would have been a very good reason to have a reaction cam because uh, 
I tell you what, you know, even I would have liked to have seen that. <laughs> I might not go too much further without without getting one. I'm hoping that I can get it through donations. If I can't, then I uh, might have to do it myself. But I'm saving for vacation this year, so yeah. So anyway, we're going to uh, go ahead and show you some of the uh, best uh, best clips here of uh, what will we call it here? Cliff diving. We're looking for the big toss. Big toss is a Castlevania term where when you were low on hit points and you got, or not low on hit points, but where a uh, when something hit you for a significant portion of your hit points, it would send you flying. So we're looking for one of those off a cliff. And it's your most favorite videos of the day, bro. Here we go. It's happened recently. Oh, that's, that's a no. And then that's a no. Oh, whoa! We get Holy a nice smoke. toss and. Wham! Oh, no. <laughs> nice. And in this video, I was actually uh, oh. trying to do like an Olympics of it, so I was actually oh. looking for the jumps. <laughs> yeah, you gotta play it for that. Or see more. Funny title. Like she's got friends. Plenty of them. This one was really good. Come on, big toss. All you need is one big. Oh yes, there it is. Look at that. Yeah! From High Hrothgar all the way to the plains. <laughs> That's the kind of toss. It's a pretty you want. good toss. You're supposed to be the good guy. This is just watch Frost over. on this. So I'm just looking for a good place to die. <laughs> and the voice too. <laughs> Here you go. I'm just looking for a good place to die. <laughs> <laughs> just the way Frost goes out from underneath the, underneath Catsandra's <laughs> legs. I mean, Catsandra's oh Sandra's fall is nothing. It's just the oh, whole, whole Frost. Let's do it one more time. Added. So I'm just looking for a good place <laughs> to die. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's Frost's <laughs> best fall ever. Well, close. close oh my anyway. god. Oh, wow. That had to be the... <laughs> then I think we have Maximus doing his next. That was the best death for Frost ever. That's for sure. This was right before I went on vacation. For fun. Yeah, this death out at the death shop saying thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you spending time with me. Happy holidays, folks. I will catch you on the 16th, and there's a good one! That's a big Look toss. Look at that! That's... Glorious. No, I won't give in. I won't it's give too bad he fell in this grotto and got stopped. He could have gone a lot longer than that. <laughs> Victorious. <laughs> and then, of right. course, here's the best one ever. What a way to end the stream. Here it is, folks. guys. The best <laughs> clip ever. <laughs> And I guess I'm going to have to give Nibiru's you credits here. Big toss. Oh my god. Now, now, if you didn't catch it, if you didn't catch it, look in the background. Look in the background. Oop, let's see if we can get this. See Frost's body oh falling god. down? One more time. Oh my god! <laughs> so let's watch the whole thing again. Then it gets better. We get a helicopter at the end. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> One more time, guys. <laughs> I consider this the best big toss I've ever done on film. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna have to end every episode by doing this now. This is how. So anyway, uh, yeah. 
that's pretty much everything on there. This is my desktop right now. Of course, that's me and Heather. Uh, it's over by Grand Coulee, actually, where I was pointing out the, the Grand Coulee. I've got a few of those videos. And uh, one of the things I want to do show you guys here is that uh, we take a look. Uh, this is what I go through to do stuff for you guys here. A whole bunch of stuff for... Oh, here's the uh, here's the cool wallpaper, by the way, that I'm talking about that you can get from uh, Chris Linton's website for uh, Watch the World Burn. Uh, it was my number one song of last year for NCS, so uh, that's something that you might want to get. Uh, it's, uh, what, paulflintmusic.com? And, yeah, it's pretty cool, so you want that. But this is everything that I've done for my channel here. This is my outtakes that we did from our... Uh, from our stream for tonight, uh, sound clips and all I got. Hey, might as well play through some of the sound clips I got here. You know. I can't believe you fell for that. You've heard that <laughs> on Cat Sandra. This is one of my new ones. It's uh, right on the edge, but I like it. I'll shove that bat up your ass and turn you into a. It's an iconic up. quote, guys. Then of course my uh, candy corn. And there's a candy corn in this one. Well, they can't all be winners, can they? This one here, I don't use that often because it's kind of loud. And a few of the other ones that you've uh, that you've heard before, you know. You, you donkey! donkey. I'm a and famous. of course, uh, you know, one I just started putting up not too long ago. Leroy! And there's only one thing that we could say to all this stuff. Three H's would be proud of the way we buried this young, promising talent. <laughs> uh, the other thing that I want to sh show you guys is uh, my, my no, not, the, not those videos. I think they're in my pictures, actually. My uh, videos that I have here, here's pictures of me and everything. But uh, yeah, I've got videos in every single one of these folders. And it's stuff that I need to go through and render and put up on the site. So you'll probably be seeing a few more vacation videos. I'll probably try and uh, fit them in in between, you know, mostly on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because those are my days off, you know, when I'm not out grocery shopping or doing something else. But, uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I just want to thank everybody who has uh, come with me on the trip. Because, you know, the, you guys all 100% make, make everything that I do totally 100% worth it. And that's why I do crazy shit like this. <laughs> I do mean it from the bottom of my heart. I thank you very much. You don't have to donate to the channel. I, you know, I'll end up buying my own webcam if I, uh, because I think that the, re the reactions will be worth a thousand words that I can ever say. But, uh. You know, I've only got 30 subscribers. I only started, well, not even 30. I've got 28. I started uh, at, uh, what was it? The end of July is when I actually started streaming. So that's when I really count my channel actually starting. Uh, so even though we've been through over 10 years of terror, going from one storm video all the way up through, uh, well, it was a set of storm videos, you know back through a crazy, crazy event that I lived through that the poor people of Lincoln City, Oregon are living through right now. Which, by the way, if they decide to set up like some sort of donation for that thing, please donate to them because uh, those guys over there could really use it. Anyway, uh, this is Death Adder at the Death Shop. This has been our video number 300, Sparta. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this was Sparta. Um... Hey, I thank you so very much for watching. I will catch you later in the next episode. Uh, likely going to be Cat Sandra on Saturday night. If not, I might do something on Friday morning. Who knows? I might pull up a randomizer for you. I might start one later tonight. Who knows? I might even pull up Cat Sandra after dark. You never can tell. Every once in a while, I'll post for you when the time is. But I can't guarantee times because... The way things go at work, sometimes I gotta stay late. Sometimes the floor crashes. It happens. Things happen. 
so I gotta be prepared. Yeah, <laughs> which I was prepared for this, but I wasn't prepared for them not being able to put my thumbnail up. That was a weird thing that happened today. Because, uh, yeah, even in my other videos, I tried to change some of the thumbnails and none of the thumbs would change. So I'm like, whoa, they got something going on there. Too many things with YouTube right now, I think. It's okay. They'll work stuff out and hammer it out. Anyway, this is Death Out at the Death Shop. Thank you so very much for watching number 300. <laughs> I amaze myself sometimes with the uh, craziness of my voice. Anyway, once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you those of you who did subscribe. If you liked that video, hit that like down below. And you, if you like what you saw in this video, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you can catch even more of the hijinks as they happen. What I've got here is just a portion of just a few videos that I that I took clips and outtakes from. I mean, Maximus, 92 episodes, guys. Cassandra is nearing, uh, she just turned 40. So we've got a lot of game in there, and we're going to put even more of the... Uh, I'm going to put even more of the vacation stuff. Thanks for the support. Spending time with me, man. Tell you what, that's the best gift you can give to me. So thanks for spending your time with me, guys. Have a great night. Stay safe out there. And those of you in cold places, stay warm. And especially you guys in uh, Lincoln City, stay dry. Have a good night, everybody. This is Death Adder signing out from number 300, guys. Thanks a lot for making it a success.